Okay, this is just going to be a very informal and brief demonstration of viruses and a way that people can bypass virus scanners, which is one of the reasons why I don't think that having one or more virus scanners is actually really going to help you. But all it's going to do is just be a, a smaller, simpler preventative measure. But after you see this, it's just going to demonstrate further that it is just a temporary band-aid and not a solution. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a virus using an older virus generating program that I got from the Certified Ethical Hacker program. As you can see, this is the JPS Virus Maker. It comes with a whole list of options. Uh, anything from disable taskbar to disable antivirus, uh, terminate windows. I'm going to leave these at the defaults. And what it's also going to do is it'll just cause the computer, the uh, infected host, to log off. And when you name when you name it um, during its install, it will have a list of generic names. I'll just pick one here. Uh, this is what it's going to be called when it goes into the host. And after uh, it gets installed, infects the host, it's going to go by this name over here. And so I'm going to create the virus. You can see it's uh, hidden and disguised as a, a Word document. And after we're done uh, creating this host, we're going to run it through Virus Total, which is a, an online virus scanning program. What makes this is just the virus by itself. This is going to get picked, and it's also an older one, so, which means it's going to get picked up pretty much by most of, if not all, virus scanners right now. But what uh, a lot of uh, designers of malware have done is they take measures to bypass by hiding or reconstructing or uh, having polymorphic viruses which are able to avoid detection because a lot of these antivirus solutions rely on studying behaviors or they use signatures like the SHA-256 or the MD5 hash to identify these viruses. And what I'm going to use is something called a cryptor. What this is going to do is it's going to compress and it's going to encrypt the program in such a way that it's going to avoid a number of the virus scanning solutions that are out there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to drag and drop the uh, virus into the cryptor right now. And then I'm going to save it to the desktop I'll just give it a simple name and now it is crypting I think it's done now I'm going to run this program through virus total okay for the desktop And I'm going to scan it. Give it a moment. You can see it's going by the SHA-256 hash. And it is now bringing up some of the uh, feedback from a lot of the other uh, cataloged antivirus labs that are out there on the web. So far it's got, it's uh, detected 20 out of 39 available and it's uh, 50. You can see that a good number of the labs still have been able to identify this as a virus of some kind but if you scroll down further it's still as you can see it's still going through um, its catalog but a good number of these uh, it's been able to avoid detection which I'm saying one of the which goes to prove that you can't have one simple uh, antivirus solution uh, one will not be able to detect everything even two or three may not be able to get everything see that there is at least 20 down here in this list that this one simple virus that's been encrypted has been able to avoid. So this is 
One reason why, one, you need to have multiple antivirus solutions on your computer, and two, the antivirus is not the only thing you need to do to actually protect yourself. You will get infected, that's a fact, because uh, this was a simple demonstration of a cryptor. There is a lot more uh, higher, um, more complicated means of hiding and bypassing these software uh, malware solute or these antivirus solutions. So you need to be able to find a way to restore your computer back to a, an earlier form when it was not infected because um, things like this are a everyday occurrence. This was just a basic demonstration and again I am not advocating creating viruses nor encrypting them and deploying them out into the wild. This was just a simple demonstration for informational purposes. Thank you.